Hi everyone. I just want to give a quick shout out to Lori at Lori Houston Art for preceding me and also for inviting me to this Blue Murder Around collaboration. I hope I do this group worthy and let's go have some fun. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art and I'm here today to do a Bloom collaboration. And uh, what I've got are um, 10 colors that I'll have in the description below. And I have three cell activators. And I have my swipers. And these are my thick swipers. So there's some body to this because I'm using the bloom paint. The bloom paint is thicker. So I want to be able to pull, pull the paint through without the swiper bending too much. And here's my cell activator. I've got my black. I have two that I'm trying. I actually used these on coasters the other day. <laughs> so I've got my swipers, as I said, and what I like to use is multiple sizes, including some this small, because I like my, my swipes to have a lot of variation to them. And I already prepared the back of this canvas. I'm taping it up. It's an 11 by 14, level two. And I'm gonna use my multi-pro as my pillow. I'll call out my paints as I go, and like I said, they'll all be in the description. And let's have some fun here, because I am I need to make another another bloom swipe. All right, I'll get you down in a second. Um, I'm gonna lay down my colors from the center, going out. Let's find the middle. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna lay a nice kaput mortem violet down the middle. I'm gonna spread from there. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna really pick up the pace here because I have a lot of video to get into 13 minutes. So this first color is the Amsterdam's kaput mortem violet that I'm putting as my center color, and that'll be my target point when I do my swipes. This is Amsterdam's Naples yellow, and I added some Golden's Hansa yellow to it as well because it's a transparent. The Naples is opaque, and I wanted to have this color not just blot out any other color that it comes near. Next color is DecoArt's Rose Quartz and Prism Pores Pink Dahlia. And note, I'm not laying the colors all the way to the edges because when I start to spin it, it'll spread out. So next color here is Golden's Dioxazine Purple. And after that, I'm going to have Arteza's Pearl Pastel Green with Prism Pores Fandango. And I'm going to put a little bit extra down because that green is a little bit shy. And then after the green will be Prism Pores Peach Dahlia. And just mind you that these paints are all made with my Glidden and Josanya combination, which the Josanya is just thinner than the Minwax, and I may think about going back to the Minwax because I think I like it better. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Next color is DecoArt's Lavender Frost, and this is one I haven't used in a while. And then after that, I've got DecoArt's Sky Blue Topaz, and then Artist Loft's Metallic Cobalt Blue. And then I'm going to put a drizzle of 24 karat gold across all the colors together. Now, also, I've laid these colors down separately, didn't drizzle them over each other, because I want them to be a little more representative as I start to swipe it out. And I do normally like my um, bloom paints to be thicker, so I do have some serious thinking to do about that Josanya. Not to mention it does smell worse than the Minwax. All right, folks, so once I've got this down, now I'm going to start working on getting my swipers ready. Now, swipers and my cell activator. I got a lot of bubbles. I'm going to torture it. Torture it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to torture it. I don't want to be contending with all those bubbles right out of the gate. All right, let's start with my big one. Actually, that might be too big. I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use him, he's too big. 
Let's start with my next bigger one. Okay, now I'm gonna put the black at the end and then have the other colors short of it. So let's start with the uh, Venetian rose. Let's put a little Venetian rose on here. And then some of the purple. I think I've got way too much. I've got way too much. I mean, I'm only going seven inches. And then the black. Stretch it out a little bit, get it fully covered. I think I've got too much. I'll pour a little off. Okay. All right, here we go. First one down. I'm gonna start in the middle. So I'm leaving all this in real time so you can see the pace that I pulled this acetate wiper through. But as we get through this, I'm going to start picking up the pace really significantly. All the way to the end. Yep, way too much black cell activator. Okay, so we need to make an adjustment for next time. So, let's put the black on first. Put a little... Hopefully it'll come back up. Purple. Venetian rose. All right, everyone, this is where I'm gonna pick up the pace and it's gonna get increasingly fast as we go and I'm gonna cut out as I go as well. But essentially what I learned from the first swipe was I put on way too much black cell activator. Uh, so I just added a lot less this time, followed up with the violet and then the rose after it. And the reason why I went with black first is I wanted the black to be in the middle to be a good differential uh, and breaking up all the colors that were so bright. I wanted to have a contrast with the black cell activator in the middle. But once we get to the end, you'll see it didn't really accomplish what I was looking for. And I don't know if it was the, the Josanya or whether my cell activator might not have been performing right. But the center didn't quite have good defined cells. Just very different, different appearance. The ends did, but the center did not. So yeah, here I am continuing along with the larger swiper and laying, layering down the cell activator. And now I'm always gonna start from the center where the Caput Mortem Violet is, that's my target, whether I go left or right. And as I lay my uh, swiper down, I'm trying to get a little bit of pressure as I'm dragging not just the cell activator over the colors, but also the paints through the pillow. So as we go along to save time, I'm going to cut out all of the wiping off the swiper after I've swiped and also the loading up of the swiper. So it's just going to be swipe, swipe, swipe as we go. The one thing I do point out during this section in real time is that the cool thing about a swipe is that you have a lot of control over it. You control where you're going to swipe. You control the pressure that you're going to swipe, the order of the cell activator on it. Uh, there's just a lot of more control. And the other thing about this technique, even though this is with the bloom paint recipe, it's very relaxing. It's just really kind of cool pulling that swiper through the paint and seeing the cells pop up. It's just really kind of fun. So I don't know if you noticed that in between here, I did switch to the smaller sized swiper and I'm going to get progressively smaller as we go. Okay, I'm gonna let the music play and I'll be quiet.
So word of the wise, the way I just went around that painting is the way you want to go, either toward you or away from you, but not over the painting. You don't want to drip on the painting with what you've just swiped off. Alright folks, so now the swiping's done, it's time for spinning, but before that even, I have to add a little flow paint to the edges here. So when I spin, I have a good uh, pillow to have the paints flow over. And just so you know, I did cut about five minutes of spinning out here, so I can get this down into a 13 minute package. again I've learned I learned on this one never done an oval that uh, peach peach dahlia like has gone crazy in here I love this section and love these sections really really cool Okay, I'm going to clean this puppy up and I'm going to get you a review. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. That ends my portion of the Bloom collaboration. And I will be passing off to Angelia Bliss Art. And I'll have her link in the description below. Thanks a lot and take care.